It's Susan, and I've been shopping. We just had Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and I've been looking for a Nespresso machine. So finally found something that would work. Um, and so I've been thinking about shopping, and I came across a study in the Journal of Consumer Psychology, and it happens to prove that retail therapy is a real thing. So shopping in this study reduced sadness, and they concluded that it was because shopping restored people's sense of control, which is kind of another way of saying that it, it restores our sense of choice and empowerment. So shopping also doses us with dopamine. So that's that happy neurochemical that literally makes us feel better. But luckily you don't have to feel sad to also get that dopamine high if you have been shopping or want to be shopping. So it comes even when we're already happy, the dopamine dose, we just get happier. And especially when we're intentional about choosing a gift that hits the spot for others. So that reminds me that I have a daughter who is leaning towards a one on the Enneagram. And if any of you know the Enneagram and you know ones, you know that when it comes to receiving gifts, they only want things that are on their wish list. <laughs> so luckily she shares her wish list with me and that makes it a lot easier to get winter gifts every time. She's happy, I'm happy, delicious dopamine, everybody's happy. So I, I kind of wondered if there wasn't a little bit of a one tendency in all of us when it comes to receiving gifts because most of us do enjoy getting things that we want. And there's a whole other neurochemical cascade that happens when we are disappointed over something that we get, you know, lower serotonin and dopamine and all of the other things in our system. So as you enter the holiday shopping season, my wish for you is that your brain chemistry would be dosed with dopamine as you remind yourself of the control you have to choose with an intention with wisdom and with love for those on your list.